Hey guys, welcome back. So if you really wanted the fastest device, Amazon device that money can purchase today, then without a doubt, that really is the second generation Fire TV Cube. Now, I've had this for a couple of months now, and when I got it initially, uh, there were some quirks with it, and I think most of those have been ironed out, but I've been using it a lot more recently, and without a doubt, guys, it is definitely a lot faster than the Fire TV stick. I mean, firstly, it has two gigs of RAM, whereas the Fire Stick only has one and a half gig. It has a much faster processor, and you also get 16 gigs of storage, whereas the Fire Stick, the 4K Fire stick only gives you 8 gig. On top of that, right now Amazon are doing a special discount. So the Fire TV Cube normally costs £109, but at the moment you can actually get it for £89. So at that price point, if you do want to stay in the Amazon ecosystem, it does actually make it fairly attractive. Now, um, I did mention in a previous video that, you know, for the typical streamer or for the typical, you know, light user, the 4K Fire Stick, you know, is more than enough. But then you have people who are more like power users. So these guys want to install lots of third party applications. Maybe they want to do some gaming, some emulation, generally the kind of stuff that you would need more power than a standard 4K Fire Stick. Now, one of the biggest issues, as we know, with the 4K Fire Stick is when you do start installing more and more applications, then your onboard storage runs out very, very quickly. Now I did some videos last year on how you can expand the storage on the 4K Fire Stick using some ADB commands. Now, if you want to follow the same process, but on the second generation Fire TV Cube, we can actually do that without typing in any ADB commands. Now, one of the biggest issues when doing this process on the 4K Fire Stick is it does require you to, you know, make an ADB connection, then type in some commands, some commands to, you know, list the disks, then format the disks, then start, you know, moving applications and so on and so forth. And, and that could be a bit tricky for some of you, which is why it's really great that on the second generation Fire TV Cube is actually a lot simpler. But the net result is I can now plug in any USB hard drive or any USB flash drive and my Fire TV will actually allow me to save applications directly to that. We're just going to applications just so I can show you and go to manage installed applications. And if I say, don't show me all applications, but show me the ones installed on my USB drive only, we can see I've got these applications here all running happily from the USB drive. And of course, because they are running from the USB drive, they're not taking up any of that valuable internal storage. On top of that, which is one of the things we couldn't do easily on the 4K Fire Stick, is actually very, very easy to move these applications back onto the internal storage. So let's say, for example, this uh, Norton's uh, mobile security, we know it's running on the USB drive because we can see it with that USB logo next to it. Let's say, for example, I now want to move this back to internal storage because um, maybe I want to change the USB drive or wh whatever the reason may be. Let's say I now want to run this from my internal storage instead. How do we do that? Well, on the second generation Fire TV Cube, if I just select the application, we can see we have a very nice, very easy to use option to move to internal storage. And that way we can take the application off the USB drive and put it back to internal storage. So in this video today, let me show you how you can expand the storage of the second generation Fi TV Cube by using a simple USB hard drive or USB flash drive. On top of that, I'll show you some of the other tweaks you can do. And for the applications you have already on your internal storage, I'll show you how you can move these applications or install these applications onto your USB drive. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Now for this process to work, you need to have a couple of things. First, you need to have an OTG cable, which you can pick up from Amazon or eBay. And I will leave a link in the video description for the one I purchased. Now you get this OTG cable and you plug this into the back of your Fire TV Cube in the single micro USB port. Let's plug that in. Now, once you plug that in, you now have a full size USB port, which we can then use to plug in maybe a USB keyboard, maybe a USB mouse, but you can also plug in a USB drive. Now I could plug in a drive directly into this, but I'm actually going to plug in a USB hub. Now this is the hub that I've previously used in other videos, and it's the Ugreen USB 3 multifunctional hub. Multifunctional because you've got a couple of USB 3 ports and you also have gigabit ethernet. And just for your reference guys, this actual micro USB port on the Fire TV Cube, it's only a USB 2 port. So even though I am plugging in USB 3 port hub, 
the actual maximum speed we're going to get is only the USB 2 port speed. And as we know, that speed is actually 480 meg. Now, what that actually means is because this port is actually a gigabit port, we're not going to get the full 1000 meg speed. Because of that USB 2 port limitation, the fastest speed we'll ever see is 480 meg, which is the actual max for USB 2. But that's still much faster than the standard Amazon Ethernet adapter, as that has a cap or a limit of 100 meg, whereas here we have 480 meg. Okay, so let me now plug this in. Okay, so I've just plugged it in and we can see that the lights have now turned on and I now have access to these three USB 3 ports. So let me now get the other thing that we need in this video and we have a USB 3 flash drive. Now this one is only 32 gig in size, but if this procedure works, there's nothing stopping me getting a 64 gig or even 128 gig drive to really maximize the storage I can use on the Fire TV Cube. So let me now plug that in. Now here's the key thing guys, so when you do actually plug this in, I don't think anything will happen on here as we can see, nothing has happened. Because what we need to do is we need to actually tell the Fire TV or the Fire TV Cube that we want to use this USB drive as internal storage. Once we format it as internal storage, we can then start actually transferring applications or downloading applications directly onto the USB stick. So, so let me show you how you do that. So let's go over to settings. Let's go down into my Fire TV. And we can see we have a USB drive option. So what we want to do here is click on this option here, select it. And we want to tell it we want to format this drive as internal storage, which again means that your Fire TV can now actually use this as if it's a part of its own internal storage. So let me click on that now. And we can see we get the message formatting USB drive. Amazon Fire TV Cube is formatting your USB drive. And that also means I can only use this USB drive on this particular Fire TV Cube. I can't plug it into my computer or plug it into a different device. It has to be used with this device only. So let's give that a second. Actually, just while waiting, guys, if you are enjoying this kind of content, if you want to see more videos, more tutorials, more tips on Fire TV Cube, 4K Fire Stick, standard Android boxes, even Nvidia Shield. So if you do want to see tutorials like that, tips and tricks, how to optimize your device and the best apps for all of these devices, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell because that really is the best way to support my channel. Thank you. And we then get the message that the formatting is now complete. Let's click on OK. Let's go back up one. And now we can see guys, we now have 30 gigs of external space that we can now use on our Fire TV Cube. So let's now actually put that into action. So let's say for example, I want to download or uh, let's say I want to install an application. So I want to install, um, what should I install? Uh, let's go for MX Player. Okay, let's just go for VLC, let's click on that. Let's now click on download. So you notice it doesn't actually ask you where you want to download it to, to the internal storage or to the new USB drive, but let's see what happens once this finishes. Let's give that a second. Okay, that's now installed okay. Let's open that up. So, so far I can't actually tell where this application has been installed. So let's give that permission. And we can now see the application is working fine. I don't really have any content on here to play, but we can see the application is working fine itself. Let's go back to home. Let's go back to storage. Let's go to my Fire TV. Let's go to USB drive. And now we get the option, manage install applications. Let's open that up. And we can see we now have installed VLC onto our USB drive. So we don't need to mess about with any of the internal storage. We can now save all of our applications onto our USB drive, greatly giving us so much more space, guys. So definitely give a thumbs up for that. Let's back out of this. The other thing we can do is if we go over to applications, go to manage install applications, we can see we get the option, do you want to see all applications? Let's click on that. Or do you want to see just USB only applications? And we can see once again, VLC is actually an application on the USB drive. And of course, if I click on it, we can also move it to internal storage if you want to. But of course, because of the storage limitations, we're going to try and put as much stuff as we can onto the USB drive. Let's back out of this. So we can see guys, we can easily install applications from the Amazon App Store and they'll automatically go onto the USB drive. But let's say for example, we download applications from Downloader. Let's click on that. And uh, let's try maybe the K application, which I did actually download from before. Here we can see that. So let's click on that now. So do you want to install this application? Let's click on install. Okay, the application is now installed OK. Let's click on done. Let's now launch that new application. Make sure it launches OK. Okay, let's click on continue. Click on allow. And we can see that's working absolutely fine and all of this is running from the USB drive. Let's try one last application because I know lots of you do actually prefer to install applications from file linked. Let's see if we install an application from there. Where does it go to? Let's open that up. 
And here we have the very useful application called Set Orientation. This will fix your display issues when your applications are stretched out because they're designed for cell phones and not TVs. So let's click on that. Let's see if I install that now. Okay, let's click on Install. And let's see where this application gets installed. We've installed applications from the standard Amazon App Store. We've installed applications through Downloader. And lastly, now we've installed an application through File Linked. So let's click on Done. Let's go over to Settings. Let's go over to Applications. Let's go to Manage Install Applications. Let's now see what's actually on the USB drive. And there we can see it guys, three separate applications from three completely different application stores are all now happily running from our USB drive. And the fact that we can do that guys, it really is an impressive feature of this Fire TV Cube. Well, that's all for this video guys. Many thanks for watching and many thanks for staying till the end. I really was trying to find the easiest way on how you can use expandable storage, USB storage to install applications, to move applications. So if you did find it helpful, then please do give it a thumbs up. I'm also working on another video on how you can basically clear out your app cache and your system cache and some of the other junk files on your Fire Stick or Fire TV. So if you guys are interested in that kind of stuff, then do think about subscribing. As always, I always appreciate your likes, your shares, your comments. So do let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.